else in the world people could touch themselves with such wild abandon. Anyway, we were looking for the Divinals here, but as luck would have it, they're in Canada. We caught up with them anyway. I took a look at their video, and actually they're doing better now than they have in almost a decade's worth of touring around. Funny thing, though, the video was banned here in Australia. I didn't see I Touch Myself on Australian TV once when I was down there. What happened? I know they won't play it. They play it all day on the radio, but they won't play the video. It's so, so strange. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like so hypocritical. They said that um, because of the lyric on it, they wouldn't play it on TV. But then it went to number one and it was played every five minutes nearly on the radio. Something's happened in rock and roll and maybe society that suddenly it's, it's sex. No longer, you know, drugs or violence or Satan, Satanism. It, it's sex. It seems to be pushing the envelope. Like it's, it's the new battleground all of a sudden. Yeah, I think so. It's like uh, Australia, it seems that sex is a bit uh, taboo. I know England, I think it is. And I don't know about Canada. But, um, so it's kind of good. So I like feel really rebellious against that at the moment because it's like I'm, you know, I'm just really into that at the moment. Why, is, is sex illegal in Canada? <laughs> not not uh, illegal per se, is, no. Is there a problem? With, but it uh, doesn't seem to be, you know, you're not sort of really supposed to present it, or, you know what I mean? It's like a bit of a no-no. So um, I've always had a bit of a rebellious nature, so. Uh, There's a line in one of the songs there where you're, you're, you've got an affection for trouble. Is that you? Well, in the song, I do. Uh-huh. You don't think so in real life? Well, I don't know. It's, I suppose, um, I have tended to um, uh, fall on that side. In, in the history of divinals, we seem to have had a, a history of trouble. I suppose because we're male and female, people always wonder about us and, you know, what's going on and how we, um, whether or not we have a, a sexual relationship. I think Mike and I have an intellectual relationship. And um, we obviously have something for, to last together this long. Uh, we both uh, seem to be able to express ourselves within divinals, which kept, keeps us together. So we don't have that imbalance. And we argue a lot. We've always argued. In fact, we didn't really even get on and off about the two, first two and a half, three years. It's just argument. But we worked together because we didn't get together because we were friends or anything like that. Mm. We got together because we liked what each other did. I'd say it was a bit longer than the first two and a half years. I'd say more like ten. <laughs> <laughs> Which gives you one, one year of happiness, I think, at this point, doesn't it? <clears throat> not even that, really. Has it just been ten years? I have to count. I have to go back and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> 